hi friends welcome to my channel and this is Veeam advanced training and in this video I'm going to show you uh, managing backups in Veeam backup and replication so um, now if we take the backup on Ma uh, Veeam so we need to make sure the backup is valid and we sometime we need to do the cleanup or sometime we need to verify the backup how the backup size is and what much data it's taking in our uh, disk or uh, uh, repository so we are going to see how we can manage those things so let's see my demo environment so in this demo I am having uh, basically five virtual machine which is acting as a server so the first machine is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server if I go here you can see my active directory and dns role is running this is my domain controller win 2 k 12 dc01 and this is my user and computers so if I go on servers you can see we have three Hyper-V host and one cluster and one Veeam server so what we are going to do in this so and the second one is our Veeam server which is win 2 12 Veeam which we are using since our second video so this is our Veeam server win 2 12 Veeam and I'm going to launch the Veeam console I'm going to connect with this and next we have uh, one standalone Hyper-V host which is win 2 12 HV01 this is a standalone Hyper-V host uh, on which VM01 and VM02 is running if I go here on win 2 12 HV01 you can see from Hyper-V manager we have two virtual machines running on this machine on this so vm1 and vm2 so i'm just going to log into these servers these vms to verify the vm state and everything to show you these virtual machine from inside so uh, this hyper-v standalone hyper-v host having two virtual machine running vm01 and vm02 so these are two virtual machines and next we have one cluster two node hyper-v cluster the cluster name is hv0 uh, hv hyphen cluster and the ip address is this so these two hyper-v host having hv02 you can see from here hv02 and the next server which is hv03 and if i go to any of these servers under the hyper-v failover cluster manager you can see the cluster name and others detail so you can see the cluster name hv uh, hyphen cluster and you can see the IP address so this is my Hyper-V cluster two node Hyper-V cluster if I go in roles you can see two virtual machines are running which is VM03 and VM04 so let me show you this so this is one VM and this is second VM which is running on this cluster and if I show you the nodes here under the nodes you can see HV02 and 03 is a part of this cluster as a Hyper-V host node so this is our infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo so what I'm going to show you the v Veeam backup and management Veeam backup disk management how we can manage backup and all so you can see we have two jobs created here the first job is uh, Veeam01 and Veeam02 and second one for is Veeam03 and Z04 so if I go to jobs under the backup you can see two jobs and if I right click here and run the statics you can see all the statics what this has been till now what uh, it's done so you can see this all detail like uh, last session its duration was this 57 second and how much data has been transferred so 8 MB across and all the details which was done in last last backup so same you can see from here and if you go on click on report on any of these and open with chrome or any browser you can exactly see what the backup is so this is the uh, backup job name and this is the detail 
Veeam 0102 daily backup at 8 p.m. every day and this is showing the status what we have status all these details so if I go here you can see the successful status about the Veeam start time end time size read and data how much data is transferred and this is showing the full backup so you can actually read all the details here and this is this one is the latest backup you can see here from so you can uh, you can have a nice report of uh, backup sessions and everything here so this is how you can if you want to see the reports of your backup jobs so you can see from here and next we have a here edit button if you want to see the this or uh, you want to edit anything like add or remove virtual machine storage retention policy if you want to change uh, anything you want to change from management level for this job you can come here and you can change in uh, particular uh, this job so I'm going to focus on this uh, in managing backup so if you see here so if I click here you can go and delete this back uh, this backup job also so let's verify if I delete this backup job uh, so uh, before doing this I want to show one thing here if you, you go to storage you can see where it's backing up so Veeam backup repository it's taking so if I go in my Veeam backup repository you can see the under the backup it's created one folder called with this job name under this job name we have all the backups full backup incremental backup and metadata files so if I go here and delete this then what it's going to do so let's verify this time so I'm going to delete this job so it's basically deleting job so if if I delete this so it's automatically going to show you the disk ha the job has been deleted but this VM has been created now and imported so you can see the drive the data has been not deleted but the but you can see from the disk its data before it was here in data but now it's co it's uh, moved to imported so this is imported by ba uh, backup which was automatically import by this Veeam and what else if I'm going to delete this again for example from here I'm going to remove from this configuration again so it's going to remove again from here backups but it's not going to delete anything from my drive I can still see my data my uh, metadata file my all the backups and if I want to import I can go again and manually import this file so I can go to repository backup and the folder which created by job and then I can select the metadata file and click OK so it's going to again in build, uh, map that uh, disk to my imported disk so you can see it's again here so we have this backup if you want to go here you can go and um, go to recover your VM and if you see the points it's going to show you all the points which is there in this drive uh, in this particular backup job so you can find all the details here so if you want if anyhow you want to clean your storage completely and the machine has been deleted and you no need that uh, data or, or on your drive so you can go ahead right click and you can go and delete this so before doing this we can go in properties and we can see what we can see here so it's going to show you the object what is the object we have so it's going to show you the object and uh, then it's going to show you the host name with uh, the server the disk is mapped and it's going to show you the path so on veeam server e drive backup and this is the path for the data which we have browsed so e backups and then folder name and then it's going to show you all the data like uh, full backup and incremental backup whatever backup we have it's going to show you all the backups and then 
uh, it's going to show you the restore point details and their status and this is the detail which you can verify from here so finally if I go from here and delete from disk then it's going to delete backup from disk so after this we are not going to have this backup anymore in our system so if I refresh this you can see the folder has been deleted from here so before uh, uh, before doing delete from disk you make sure you actually require to delete this from disk not from Veeam only so after deleting any backup from disk you are you don't have option to revert get that data back in Veeam so make sure about that and this is all what you can see backup so I'm going to uh, uh, take further things like mainly I have described properties and all and uh, edit is also there you can go and edit these things storage and backup pools if you want to change anything if you want to add or uh, decrease the number of restores point you can do it and if you want to add detail date the change the date of synthetic backup you can change and if you want to run any active backup monthly on like first Friday first Monday anything you can select from here so you can modify and manage your backup jobs and you can manage your uh, backup related data so this is all about managing backup in Veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye